Hello, uh, welcome to the video on how to convert a British Telecom or GPO 746 telephone, such as this one, to work with the new plan phone sockets, or just phone sockets as they're called now. Now this will be using um, the components from one of my conversion kits that I sell, which are here. Uh, not all the components are here, the two cable ties are only needed in certain wall phones. Um, so I have not included them, but everything else is present. Now your first trick is to make sure the phone is complete, which involves checking that the label protector that's on the front of the dial is present. Make sure there is a receiver in there, because people have been known to take these apart and remove pieces. And there is a microphone in there. Now, Place the receiver to one side. Now, as you can see, the original line cord has simply been cut. You may find them cut off even just right at the back here. Just literally cut, or they may be intact, or complete with a junction box. It makes no difference for the conversion. Because people, these tend to be removed by builders, renovators. They just literally cut them out. All you need, the only tool you should need, is a small flat blade screwdriver that just fits the screw on the back. Now this is the first tricky bit. You undo the screw but not all the way. It's spring loaded. You undo it till it springs back like that. There's a captive nut inside and it's on a spring. I will show you this. You see it springs out a certain distance but no further. You may find that it comes completely out because again if somebody's had this apart before they may not have put it back together properly. You remove the case by pressing down on the top of the dial here. Not hard but just enough to make it clear the top of the case like that and that tilts forward and then comes off and gets bashed on the side. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. This is what you should see inside. I will try to get a decent video of that. There we go. Which shows the straps that are present. Now the first trick is to remove both remove the line cord and the handset cord grommets from their respective positions. Now you'll notice they were crossed over. I'm uncrossing them. Now the line cord needs to be completely removed. Now all you need to do is about three quarters to one turn anti-clockwise on each screw. They may be in different positions on your phone, that doesn't matter. Then all four tags should come free and the line cord can be placed to one side. Get rid of in fact because we're not going to use that one anymore. Now what you should find now is that you have a terminal layout something similar to this. Now what I'm going to show you, if I can, um, this may be noisy because I'm going to use the zoom on the camera. There we go. I'm trying to show you, if I prop the phone up on its own receiver like that, that's much easier to see now. What we're aiming for is to remove the strap here between T8 and T9 literally again release the screw a fraction of a turn then place it between T17 and T18 here so now 16, 17, 18 and 19 are linked together. Now this one here you don't need to remove you can do if you like but this one here uh, one, two, three, T4 to T5 does need removing because you need to replace this with the green component marked R, which is this one here. Uh, to do this, form slight loops in the end of the wires by wrapping them slightly round your screwdriver just to form very slight loops. I don't know whether you can see that. I'll place it on the dial labels there. Hopefully, yes, that does show up. Um, what you want to do is hook them around the two wires from T4 and T5. 
that places the resistor, which is what the green component is, in series with the bell, reducing the ringer equivalence number from 4 to 1, allowing you to connect up to four of these phones to the same line. Now this one is the white component marked M. Same procedure, wrap the wires slightly round the screwdriver to form loops, like so. Uh, put those on there, you see, very slight loops in them, uh, only U shapes, and they go between T1 and T2. Now you may find a component already in place, such as this, across these terminals. If you do, there is no need to fit this, but fitting it will not hurt. It's, this is my replacement equivalent of this component. This is obviously much neater because it's mass produced and mine are handmade. But the principle is the same. What, what it does, it um, limits the voltage across the receiver to a fraction of one volt thus preventing if there are any loud clicks or if there's an accident and mains power gets attached to the phone line somehow or other similar surges it prevents your hearing from being damaged by the surge in the line now we come to we're almost there this is how simple these conversions are you need to connect this to here which is T6, the blue wire connects to T6, that is the bell coming in from the master socket. And you just literally put the fork on the screw and tighten it up, just hand tight, you don't need to overstress them. This again, this is the red, this goes to terminal 8. That is one of the line wires, the orange wire that's also connected to T8 here, in fact, goes off to the dial. Not that you needed to know this, but it's uh, maybe interesting to you. This wire here, the white, is the other line wire and goes to 19, 18, 17, 16. It can go to any one of those terminals because they're all four linked together. Loosen off that terminal one turn or a little more than one turn maybe. Place the spade for, or fork terminal underneath it, like that. Now the only one you have left is the green. Now on a normal phone line, the green doesn't serve a purpose. It's the earth wire, which in telecoms is not used for safety, it's used for signalling. Or rather, in the case of normal phone lines now, not used for signalling. So it goes to terminal 15 here, which is a spare terminal. These phones were designed with several spare terminals for future adaptations and different versions. Now you'll see you've got a strap like this left over. As this is part of the originality of the phone, I would suggest, as you have no use for it otherwise, if you place it inside in parallel with one of the other straps, um, that one there is between 16 and 17. That just keeps it in place, makes sure it stays with the phone that it was part of, and that is the conversion pretty much done. The only other thing I would suggest before we start putting it back together is have a look at the front here, and you can see the bell clapper, which is this pointed object not pointed object, the round object between the bells there. I'll see if I can get it to move. See? Now, what you need to do is adjust, if it's not ringing, if it doesn't appear to be loose, adjust it so it just touches the bell when it's pushed one way, and when it's pushed the other way, just touches the other bell. And you should make sure that the mechanism at the back here which is in here, uh, it's probably a difficult angle to see and also difficult distance, here. This bar here should vibrate. The gap should be around 1 20th, uh, no, sorry, 20 thousandths of an inch. 
very difficult. Um, in fact, if you take one of the dial or two of the dial labels that I supply, I do supply two of them with the foam, they are fairly much the right thickness if you can bend them in there or maybe take a spare one and bend it in half. Although, of course, I don't recommend that because you damage it and they take me a long time to make. But yes, if you can fit the... I will show you in a second as soon as I've... It's very difficult to do this one-handed while watching through the video camera. I do apologise for that. But you can... No, I will have to use both hands, unfortunately. There we go. You can get it into the gap at the back of the armature. And it should almost fill that gap, which indeed it does. And if you notice, I've been very sneaky there and folded it on the line under the operator logo, or under the operator name, so the fold will not show. Now, what we do, the two cords are separate here. Swap them over again so that the line cord comes out the left-hand side and the handset cord comes out of the right-hand side. You may at this point wish to check the phone. If you do, don't touch any of the terminals at the back because the phone line is at, can ring up to 110 volts. It's supposed to be around 75 to 80, but on an unloaded line close to an exchange, it can be quite a lot higher as a 110, 120 volts, which is enough to surprise you quite a lot. Now, if you just simply... The, as the famous Haynes manual say, reassembly is the reverse of disassembly. You simply push the dial forward, slot the cover back down. It should be level at the back here with these two grommets. And then simply tighten the screw up, finger tight again. Just literally finger and thumb on the screwdriver is tight enough. Now, the only other thing now is to put the dial labels into the foam. Now, to do this, I recommend using some masking tape or sellotape. This is a piece of uh, half-inch masking tape. Simply attach it to the front of the dial here, and then pull quickly outwards, and as will probably happen to you, it didn't work. There we go. Second time, it came out. Do not ever attempt to lever under the edge because the edge of this is very thin and will be fractured. Now you can place the dials in, making sure the line is the sorry, the labels in, making sure the line is horizontal. You can fill in your number here, or I also sell um, dial labels with your number printed on them. That is now complete. Of course, your new cord, this one is a standard grey. Yours may be colour-coded to your phone. Um, I sell several different colours. The only thing I failed to mention was this piece of tinned copper wire here is used in place of the straps. If some of the straps inside, the two, the U-shaped pieces, the, one, the spare one of which I put between 16 and 17 in there, if you don't have sufficient of those, you can cut a length of this wire, which is actually telephone wire, to do the same job. I hope the video has been helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Thank you.